While there is a video running around of a little bit of smoke coming out of the Kremlin last night, there is no real evidence of any drones downed by the Russian defence systems around the Kremlin. And it looks highly likely that the story that Russian, uh, that the um, Kremlin has been attacked or uh, there was an attempted attack on the Kremlin by Kyiv um, is simply an excuse for a counterattack. Russia has fired so many missiles on civilian targets across Ukraine recently, uh, and the argument is that it might be an attempt to uh, bring about the counter-offensive which is planned before it is ready so that uh, it will be less effective. At the same time, Russia has also um, reprimanded Britain and called its uh, Britain's ambassador, Deborah Bronnett, uh, over to, um, uh, to be castigated about what it said was Britain's involvement uh, in the Ukrainian drone strike on the uh, oil and gas um, supplies in Crimea the other day, which were attacked, um, its strike uh, uh, for fueling, refueling the Black Sea fleet. Um, now, again, there's a certain amount of misinformation here because the Black Sea fleet is nowhere near Sevastopol. It was, it was moved almost a year ago uh, and is much is, is much closer to the Sea of Azov, and um, it, it is nowhere near uh, the Sebastopol um, port. So there's a certain amount of misinformation going on, and again, uh, it's not impossible that these various strikes have been staged by Russia as a prelude to a counter-strike by the Kremlin forces against civilian targets across Ukraine as part of the propaganda war, in other words. Um, according to Russia's officials, a unit of Britain's Royal Navy directed the drone attack on uh, Crimea from the southern Ukrainian port of um, Ochakiv, and London says that this was a false claim on an epic scale. Uh, at the same time, we're seeing the final shipments of the UN brokered Black Sea Grains Initiative. And uh, Russia has said that it's not likely to renew permission for that grain to be transported through the Bosphorus to um, the rest of the world. So on many levels, this is about Putin's aggression, and I don't think it's about uh, any sort of Ukrainian surprise attacks. I think um, I, I think that's overstated. I think this is all part of smoke and mirrors uh, in Putin's propaganda war.